have you ever wondered what happens when the world owes more money than it can ever repay? A tantalizing riddle indeed. Welcome, dear listener, to our summary of a deep dive article about the world of the global debt crisis. For a deeper understanding of this complex topic, please find the link to the article in the description. Our journey begins in the post-war era at the Bretton Woods Conference of 1944, a gathering that laid the foundation of our modern financial system. Here, the US dollar was established as the world's reserve currency, a decision that would have far-reaching implications for global debt. Fast forward to the 1970s, a decade marked by oil shocks that sent economic shockwaves around the globe. Rising oil prices led to a surge in revenues for oil-producing nations, which were then deposited in Western banks. These banks, now flush with petrodollars, began lending to developing nations, setting the stage for the debt crisis that would follow. The 1980s saw the Latin American debt crisis, where several countries defaulted on their external debt. The fallout was catastrophic, with a decade-long period of economic stagnation and decline known as the lost decade for Latin America. Then came the Asian financial crisis of the late 1990s, a period of financial contagion that began in Thailand and quickly spread across East and Southeast Asia. The crisis exposed the vulnerabilities of these economies, leading to a wave of bankruptcies and government bailouts. The new millennium brought with it the global financial crisis of 2008, a cataclysmic event precipitated by the collapse of the subprime mortgage market in the United States. The aftermath saw governments worldwide taking on massive debts to bail out failing banks and stimulate their economies. And then the COVID-19 pandemic struck. Governments across the globe responded with expansive monetary policies and fiscal stimuli, leading to record-breaking levels of debt. Today, the sustainability of these debt levels is a significant concern, especially in the face of potential interest rate increases. As we dive deeper into the implications of global debt, let's examine the domino effect it has on interest rates and inflation. The correlation between high levels of debt and increased interest rates is a complex one. As governments borrow more, they increase demand for their own bonds, pushing prices up and yields down. This could lead to higher interest rates, as lenders demand more compensation for the increased risk of default. High interest rates, in turn, can slow economic growth as they make borrowing more expensive for businesses and consumers. This could lead to decreased spending and investment, potentially triggering a recession. Now, let's talk about inflation. It's a double-edged sword. On one hand, moderate inflation is often seen as a sign of a healthy economy. However, high levels of inflation can erode the value of money and increase the burden of debt, particularly if wages don't keep up. Predicting the global financial markets is an incredibly challenging task. However, understanding the interplay between global debt, interest rates and inflation is crucial for informed decision making. It's a delicate balancing act that policymakers around the globe are constantly grappling with. So. Where does this leave us? We find ourselves at a financial crossroads. On one hand, we have a world grappling with unprecedented levels of debt. On the other, we have the international financial community actively engaged in discussions around debt restructuring and relief initiatives. To quickly summarize, the roots of the global debt crisis can be traced back to the Bretton Woods system and the oil shocks of the 1970s. The crisis has been exacerbated by subsequent financial crises and most recently the COVID-19 pandemic. The sustainability of current debt levels is a significant concern for the future. This is a complex and multifaceted challenge that affects nations worldwide. The choices we make about debt management and economic policies will shape the financial landscape for generations to come. The link to a more detailed article on this topic is in the description. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the annals of global debt.